Hi, and welcome to today's video on ProPresenter Scoreboard. My name is Andy. I'm a technical support engineer here at Formetco, and today we're going to be going over macros. Macros is this section right here in ProPresenter Scoreboard, and it allows you to do multiple events with one click. To get to macros, we're going to go to the pencil icon up at the top, select the macros tab, and here you will see my macros. I've already created five, but we'll go over how I created these one by one. The most basic use of macros will be to trigger a graphic while doing an event over here on the right. So let's do that by creating a new macro by hitting the plus button. I'm going to grab one of my commercials down here before I do that, though, I want to make sure that this commercial has got all of the settings that I want for it to have in the macro. To do that, I'm going to right click on that graphic. I want it to stop. I only want it to play through once. I'm going to right click again. Have it do a dissolve transition, because that's the transition I want for it. And if I want to adjust the length, the scaling options, anything like that, now is the time to set that up. Once I have all of those settings set, I'm going to take my graphic and drag it up into the macro I created. You'll see that I now have that graphic inside of my macro. I can relabel this, so I will call it Coke since it is a Coke commercial. Now I have my actions over on the right hand side. I'm going to drag my graphics bin down out of the way so you can see all of the options you have. First is going to be my clear actions. These are actions that are going to remove existing layers when I first trigger the macro. Since scoreboard and overlays could be on top of this as they're higher layers, I want to make sure that those two are cleared to get out of the way. Then I tell it where I want to play. For this, I want to play full screen, and I want to play it for a specific amount of time. If I look at my piece of content, you'll see a counter down here saying that it is 16 seconds and 20 frames long. You can ignore the 20 frames. So I'm going to put up here 16 seconds. If I want to trigger an overlay, such as live video or a logo, I can do that right here. These other actions are going to be layers that are triggered when you click on the macro. And then end behavior are going to be layers that are triggered when the macro ends at the end of the 16 seconds in this case. So I'm going to want my scoreboard to come back up. Now I've created the macro. If I go out of my pencil icon, you will see that I have a new macro. To trigger that macro, all I have to do is click on it once. You'll see the Coke animation come up. It will run through the 16 seconds of its graphics. And once that's done, it will bring back up the look I had. That's the most basic way of using macros. However, macros do not even have to have any content in them. It can be a place to make a button that does multiple things at once. For an example, I have this reset button here that I've created that has no content in it. But if I get into a place where I have content on the board I do not want, or looking like I do not want, I can now hit that reset button. For example, if I had this going, and this, I could tell obviously this is not the right look. This is not what I want my board to look like. So, I can hit that 
reset button and it will take me back to the look I want. To make that, I'm going to go back to macros, create a new macro, tell it I want to clear all four of my layers, but I also want it to show my scoreboard and my advertisements. With that simple action, I have not added any content, but I have made a reset button. I could title it whatever I want. Now that I have it titled Reset, again, that is right here. We'll go ahead and make our board incorrect again. And I click that Reset button, and it brings me back. You can also use macros to trigger overlays, like I've done here. Over on the left hand side in my overlays bin, I currently have two different live video inputs. One for full screen, one for video zone. I also have a logo that can be used as a watermark for sponsored content. With this macro here, the live sponsor, is going to trigger both my live and my sponsored logo with one button. I can click that button, it brings up both of those, and when I'm done, click it again and it goes away. To create that, I went back to my macros, created a new macro with the plus button, had it clear any scoreboards and overlays, again, things that could potentially be on top, had it trigger live full and my overlay three, which is my logo. And then at the end, I had it show scoreboard. That allowed me to make that button. Macros is really helpful for hype videos and the national anthem at the beginning of the game, commercials throughout the game, and specific large-scale animations. For example, a touchdown where you want to take over the whole board for a specific amount of time. Here you can see I have it set to go through this piece of content twice. To do that, I set the duration for 12 seconds even though my touchdown animation here is six seconds. If I put no time in this right here, drag touchdown up into there, have it clear scoreboards overlays, play in full screen, and show scoreboard at the end, then this button right here will run until I tell it to stop. In order to tell it to stop, just click it again and it will go away. Any of these macros can be clicked on and off, regardless of if they're done playing or not. And that's it. That's macros. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us and have a great day.